Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Twilio. Now, Twilio is an API for SMS text messages and voice applications. So the first thing we want to do is create a Twilio account. So you're going to go through the account creation process. Then you'll come to this screen um, of voice and messaging. It's going to be a little bit different from you because I've already selected my number. There'll be a list of numbers or actually there'll be one number and it'll ask you if you want to accept that number or you want to recycle it and try to get a new number. Uh, it typically goes with a local number uh, for you uh, depending on your settings when you signed up. Um, so go ahead and accept that number. Make sure you actually click accept on the number otherwise this won't work so once you get that set up we'll go ahead and move on so now that we have that phone number what can we do with it well I'm going to use Twilio uh, to send a text message from my web server to my cell phone uh, in order to do that we're going to use a uh, Twilio package uh, from or a Twilio node.js package so we need to install it via npm so down here I'm going to do npm install um, Twilio and save that and then we'll let that install so now that we have it installed we're going to go ahead and bring it into our application uh, so right here i'm going to do new variable um, client equals require um, twilio and then in order to get the actual client we need it to give it our actual credentials um, so our credentials are in our account. If you click on this button and click show API credentials, you're going to get an SID and you're going to get a token. The SID is going to go in the first parameter here and the token is going to go in the second parameter. Uh, since I'm not going to go ahead and show my credentials here, I've already previously saved it into my environmental variables on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and use these credentials right here process environment twilio sid and process environment twilio token so now let's set up a new route um, let's do it right here we're going to create app.get and we're going to say i don't know test twilio and then the function request response now here we can do what it says in the twilio node uh, package client dot send message and then it takes a uh, our basically our object for our phone numbers who we're going to send it to and who we're sending it from which is our twilio number and then the message that we're going to send so two is going to be um, plus and this is the number that we're sending to uh, so i'm going to set it up to eight one seven five two six four zero five one and then from will be um, one and then my Twilio number, 817-659-1086. And then the body will be the message. Um, we'll just do hello world from Twilio. And then the next parameter is the callback. So function, error, and data. So all we're going to do is if there's an error, console.log the error. And otherwise, um, we'll do console.log, um, I don't know, we'll just log the data. So let's save that, pretty it up a little bit, and test it. Really quick, we need to uh, add one to our two number. We gotta dial one first, and then we need our plus sign here. So let's save that, run our server, and we'll go to localhost 8080 slash test Twilio. And then I don't, you won't be able to see my screen, but hopefully you'll be able to see it light up. Uh, when I hit enter, uh, we should see a response here. And then we got a new message. So let's check the new message out. And I can't really show you on the webcam, but I promise you it says sent from your Twilio trial account. Hello world from Twilio. 
Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. We're going to be doing more Twilio tutorials in the future about voice applications, and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you're interested in these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them in the comments below. And I've been pretty good about answering uh, everybody's questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time.